Okay, OAB is a triangle. OPM is a straight line. APN is a straight line. M is the midpoint of AB. So let's make that a half. Let's make that a half. OP to PM is 3 to 2. So that's 3 fifths and that's 2 fifths. Um, OA is A. And OB is B. So we need to work out ON to NB. Okay, so let's see what we can uh, work out. Okay, so I know that uh, AB is minus A plus B. I know that AM is going to be half of that, so minus a half A plus a half B. Okay, um, OM I'll probably work out now. So OM is going to be A minus half A plus half B because this is O A and an A M. To put it together, I get I still get half A plus half B. Hmm. I can now try and work out what O P is. So I've got O P is three fifths yeah, of a half A plus half B. So three fifths times half is three tenths. So what this is three over ten A plus three over ten B. Okay now I'm just gonna get a version of uh, AP. Okay. So AP I'm gonna go down A and then up to P. So it's gonna be minus A and it's gonna be the same as OP which is 3 over 10a plus 3 over 10b. Uh, so let's put all the a's together. Yeah, so I know this is actually going to equal minus 7 over 10 okay, plus 3 over 10b. Now because I've got ap, I now need to consider an. Okay. Now an is going to be a um, factor of ap. So I'm just going to call it factor k. And I'm just going to times it all. So I've got 7k over 10 plus 3k over 10b. Now I can work out what OA is, so ON is. So it's going to be exactly what's on top, just with an extra 8. So it's going to be A plus negative 7k over 10, plus 3k over 10b. Now if you look at ON, ON is on B. Okay, So the actual A's must equal to 0. And it must equal to zero because it's on B, and it must only be represented as a fraction of B. So if I look at my, I've got A plus, so A minus 7K over 10. Yep, it's a bit of A. A um, equals zero. So now what I have to do now is uh, solve it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide it all by A. So I've got 1 minus 7K over 10 equals zero. I'm going to bring my 7K over 10 over. So 1 equals 7K over 10. Okay. Um, I'm going to times both sides by 10 and then divide it by 7. Okay. So I've got 10 over 7 equals k. So for the last bit, if um, I know k is 10 over 7, I substitute 10 over 7 into here. So now all of this will actually just equal to nothing. So if I do 3 over 10 times 5 k, which happens to be 10 over 7, I get three sevenths. So I know that this is just three over seven b. So that is three over seven b. That's three sevenths, yeah. Now it's asking me from O N and M B because all of this is one. Yeah, my other half must be four sevenths. Because four sevenths uh, plus three sevenths is one. So my ratio is three sevenths to four sevenths. And uh, let's make it nice, so don't have fractions, by times both by sevens, I've got three to four.